It's finally here, the new Nintendo Switch model, OLED. So let's talk about what it might mean for Smash Brothers. What's happening, my blocked buddies, and welcome to a brand new episode of Blocked Content's Leak Speak. My name is Callum, and this is going to be your content for today. And Nintendo, out of nowhere, just shadow dropped a huge announcement. It isn't the announcement that we all thought and hoped and wished that it would be. And I think that Nintendo was kind of feeling the heat to release anything new. So that is what this is. They didn't announce this anywhere along the lines of E3, so they really waited for this to have its own small announcement just to be dropped on Twitter and different social media channels. But yes, it is here. If you haven't heard the news, there is a new model for the Nintendo Switch and it's not a Nintendo Switch Pro or a Super Nintendo Switch or anything like that. It is the Nintendo Switch OLED model. What it means is it has a bigger screen, you know, the other bezel. I think it even has a bigger kickstand and a lot of other small improvements like the LAN port. So this doesn't seem like the biggest thing, right? This doesn't seem like the equipment that we would really want from a brand new Nintendo Switch system. I do really love the changes that they did make and for the consumers that really wanted just a, an upgrade, right? For new audio and new, you know, slightly upgraded sort of handling for the system but there's nothing in terms of, you know, it running better on the TV. There's nothing in terms of it actually being, you know, an upgraded system. And we haven't even heard if, you know, the Joy-Con drift or anything like that is even fixed. So right now, a lot of people have been saying that it's a little bit of a disappointment, but I wanna talk about the possibility of the future of these revisions, what could be possible in the future, what OLED actually means. So if you have any questions, if you have any thoughts or ideas, please send them over to Blocked Content, it's question blocked. So please send over your email to blockedcontentmail at gmail.com and I will answer your question here live on the show. And also another way to interact with me and a lot of other blocked content fans is through our Discord. So please click the link in the description because you'll be transported to a world where you get to interact with us, you know, post your own theories on Smash and other franchises and just have fun with each other. So yes, hope to see you on the official blocked content Discord. Click the link in the description. So let's talk a little bit about this Nintendo Switch OLED model, right? It's not a Nintendo Switch Pro and it has a lot of new features that might enhance things a little bit, right? Not the visuals, not the way that you play, but essentially just comfortability, right? It has a bigger screen, OLED, which is incredibly beautiful if you've ever played a, you know, PlayStation Vita or something like that, that is just so vibrant and beautiful. But other than that, it's the same old thing. And a lot of people have been notifying me about, you know, there's Smash Brothers footage in there and it looks slightly better on the TV. Um, I can now confirm that that is, you know, absolutely not the case. It does not upgrade, you know, the dock isn't any Anything different so it doesn't upgrade the gameplay in any sort of way right it's not a new console it's the same console but it's just a different model of it right like the Nintendo Switch Lite right that is a model that is created specifically for one part of the audience and the OLED model is for people yeah who really like to have these quality of life improvements that maybe just really want to refresh their switch right and have a new console and also people who might not have picked it up yet and now want the best model available so that is a little bit of the background behind the system. Now, people have been sending me messages about Smash Brothers in specifics because there is a little thing that we need to talk about, and that is we are just having one more fighter, and then after that, it's all done. And, you know, revisions or not, a Smash Brothers game just comes by every console generation. So it feels like the next time that we get to play Super Smash Brothers is going to have to be around the time of a new, you know, game, like a new system, a brand new Nintendo console. And that might take a little while and also people have been telling me well what will it be then it feels like this is Sakurai's swan song and he even alluded to that in the Kazuya presentation that he did right he essentially said you know the final character is coming up that'll be the last thing and this is kind of my life's work you can call it my life's work it's been so long since we've even worked on Super Smash Brothers for Wii U and 3DS which of course this game was the base framework for now I think that in you know a generality we can say Sakurai 
feels like he needs to kind of step back from his role. Not because of anything creative, but definitely just health-wise, and maybe it's just the right time for a new regime here. What I think would be incredible is if, you know, they can lift up what is already here with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and continue to build on it. Like sort of a 4K version of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Wouldn't that be incredible? The idea would be that no, it's not a new Smash Bros. game with new models and new, you know, everything and a new story mode. No, it would be the exact same game, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, but maybe it'd be called Super Smash Bros. Ultimate 4K of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Extra or something like that. And I know a lot of people would really want a new Smash Brothers game, but if there is another revision to the Switch that isn't an OLED model, but that is something bigger, right? Something newer and something that actually is a new console in its own right. So there will be games released for that that can't really run on the original Switch. So it would essentially just be the Switch 2, right? Well, in that sense, I think a new Smash game would make sense, but I think that an enhanced version of Smash Ultimate would be the right way to go. That way, you still have the Sakurai sensibilities in your original game. It means that you can still have that same feeling. All the balancing that has been done is already in there, and the team that's running the game kind of already knows a lot of Sakurai, right? And so the only thing that you would really need is a new person to kind of oversee that process, right? To, you know, step into Mr. Sakurai's shoes. Now that is a very tough thing to fill, and I think that a lot of fighting game companies have directors that could be up for that challenge. They won't be specifically Sakurai, because Sakurai is one of a kind, right? He knows every single gaming franchise, because with Smash Brothers, that's just his job. And also, he just has these amazing sensibilities that make him not just a fun guy to watch and listen to on streams and, and whatever, but it just makes him a really good leader, and it makes him a very creative person that has a style and sort of a, you know, general vibe about the games that is so unique. If you boot up a game like Kirby Air Ride or even Kid Icarus Uprising, it is a brand new experience that no one else could have really directed, right? You can see it from the menus, you can see it from the style. So yes, if I think about, you know, an, an OLED system, a new Switch revision that might change things, I'm thinking this probably won't prompt Nintendo to do anything new in terms of software. And this feels like a precursor to something bigger, right? This is, I think, chapter two to the whole Nintendo Switch Lite situation. So today's comment question is, are you actually gonna get the new OLED Nintendo Switch? Let me know down in the comments below. Like, what is your reason if you're not getting it? What is the reason that you are getting it? I wanna know who's getting the new Nintendo Switch OLED model. Let me know. As for a previous common question winner, it's Zero Point Primal Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes, I still think that Waluigi chants because Nintendo changed him a bit, because first we all know Waluigi's an assist trophy and has always been an assist trophy since we like that brawl, but wait, there's more. Mario's and Luigi's alternate costumes have changed. They both now have Waluigi's alt costume, and Sakurai did mention that assist trophies can now be KO'd. If assist trophies can be, well, then why can't Shadow now be Nintendo? Shame with him. Not only that, but yeah, there's also three spirits and a me costume, and then all of a sudden in the Nintendo Treehouse, we got some character gameplay, and one of the Nintendo employees, I, I think they were playing as Waluigi, and using a purple hat, Waluigi got first, and then they might have said he got into the spotlight or something like that. So do I still think that he has a chance? Yes, says Zero Point Primal, Sonic the Hedgehog. So. I think that that's very special. I think they can really allude to things in those tree houses, but don't glean too much from them, right? I think that Waluigi, you know, our previous video was all about that character. I think that it does make sense to introduce him as the final character just because of the theory that essentially the final character has to be free of charge because you pay the same as the first pass, right? So it has to be a character that there are no different rights to be involved with, right? It could just be a Nintendo first party character or maybe even a Pokemon character, even though I think that there are sharing agreements there that are also really tough contractually. I think that it would be awesome to have Waluigi in the game if his moveset is really epic, right? If there's something really notable, I think that then it would be fine. If it's just a meme and if he's just in there just to be there, no. So you can also join Patreon for blocked content. So if you really love this channel and you want to actually be the deciding factor to what our next video is, go to patreon.com slash blocked content because even $1 a month will get you access to decide what our next video is all about. And also, please hit that subscribe button, click that thumbs up, 
ring the bell, and I'll see you guys around the corner where there will always be more blocked content. See ya.